Hey, this is Paulo from the NB Academy, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the track Bacteria and the bass from Ed Rush and Optical. So, this is the original track. And this is my remake. Now, before we get started, I know the origins of this sound is that it was sampled. But I think it's of great value to study this sound under a perspective of pure sound design techniques so we can learn what made these great sounds and then know how to evolve them into something of our own. So that being said, before you get started, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. If you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. And also don't forget that if you want to get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists and we also have a lot of production resources on our website. You only gotta visit dmbacademy.com. So let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized serum. Let me show you the sequence that we're gonna be playing. Okay, so this is a sequence. You can copy notes if you wanna follow along with the tutorial. So now let's go back to serum. Okay, and so here in serum is very simple, which is gotta get a very distorted, kind of slow reese. So for that, let's load a sine wave on oscillator A and a saw wave from the basic shapes wave table on oscillator B. So if we play this, nothing super special. Let's bring the random factor of the faces all the way down by bringing these two knobs down. Let's add some noise. And then let's add a filter. And we're going to route both of these oscillators through it. And we're going to map LFO number one into the cutoff. So whenever we trigger another node, this modulation resets, like this. Just like that. And then we're going to map a macro here into the fine tuning of oscillator B. We're going to hold Shift and Alt and then click it. So the modulation is just unipolar, meaning it just goes one way. And then we're going to name this the rate knob. Now, what happens if we move this? As you can see, and in this meter right here, we start to get some type of rhythm or modulation. Now, the thing we want to do is we want to drive this filter all the way up. Now let's bring the master a little bit lower. And now let's go into the effects and let's apply a lot of distortion here. Now, if we want to shape the sound further, we can bring an EQ and make bells of those harmonics that we want to accentuate before the distortion. So let's focus around this 1K area. And then let's bring the Q down of both. So we get kind of a shape like this. Let's bring the gain a little bit lower. So this is kind of the shape that we want. Then we're going to add some chorus to it. Bring the low pass filter up. And now this sound is still not super special, but that's because we want to play with this rate. And also, let's increase the range of this pitch bend. And now here is where we are going to build some of the articulations of the sound, like this. So, let's just go into the DAW and automate these two parameters. Okay, so for the pitch bend, this is the automation that I made. On this part, we have the original pitch, but then it rises up to 12, but then it goes down one semitone, as you can see, 0.96. If we take a look at here, it's 11 semitones. Then it goes down and it resets. Then we have this rate parameter, and with this one, we can control the speed of the rhythmic phase cancellation. And so this is the automation that I ended up making. It rises up at the beginning of the pitch bend. Let me show you. As you can see, in this section, it rises up. And when we have the pitch bending all the way up, it, is, it is slows down. 
then it resets and we repeat the modulation. And so this is it inside Serum. Now we gotta go hard on the pulse processing. So the first thing we're going to add is a saturator. We're gonna drive it even more. Let's bring the gain down. And then we're gonna add a notch filter. And we're gonna do that with auto filter right here. Now we're gonna change this into a notch. And we wanna add this movement into the sound. So, I would do it something like this. And then reset it there. There you go. Now what this does is, this notch filters create, create a phase rotation on both sides of the notch. And that is what sometimes creates this very phaser -y effect. In fact, if we wanted a phaser, it'll look something like that. For example, if we go here to Serum, and we select the phaser, uh, let's remove the drive, we can see that the phaser with just one pole looks like the notch filter. And this other phaser looks like the same notch, but it's two of them. So on and so on. And so that is what we're doing here with this filter. And of course you can change it on certain spots like this. You can even add some rhythmic modulation going down maybe. This is just experimentation. As you can see, you can get very cool results if you experiment with this. In this case, I left it like this, but I do wanna show you some cool techniques that you can uh, use this filter with. Next, we're gonna add some erosion and this is just to add a bit of noise. Here in the mids. All right, so next we wanna add some extra movement. So for that, I'm gonna bring serum effects here. And then we're going to turn on a filter and we're gonna select a band pass 24. And with this filter, we're gonna add that movement around 1K. But as you can notice, we lose a lot of the sound thanks to this. So for that, let's just make a quick setup. Let's hit Control G to group this into an audio effect rack. Let's duplicate the chain and then let's rename this lows and this one highs. So on the lows, we're going to keep an unaffected signal, but we're going to cut some of the highs because basically all of this range, we wanna bring it with this other chain. Cool, and now we can focus on this. So what I would do is I would put this filter here and then automate the cutoff. is I would do it manually. You For that, you need to turn on this function that records the automation, and then hit F9. As you can see, you can have a lot of fun with that knob right there. So in this case, I'm gonna leave it like this. It's not perfect, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna leave it like that. Next, we're gonna add a flanger to add an extra movement in the sound, but we're gonna bring the rate all the way down so there's no LFO affecting the flanger and we're gonna manipulate this step knob as if we were to draw the elevo shape. So we're going to make our own shape, maybe a rising shape like this. Yeah, that's nice. Let's duplicate it. 
Awesome. Next, let's just cut the lows from this. And then let's bring trash to and distort the highs. So for that, we're going to set our multiband mode. And then we're going to focus on this third band and we're going to boost the highs. Just like that. And next we're going to mix this a bit louder and then let's test it with the other layer. Okay, maybe we want to go back into the serum effects and add some distortion. After everything. Boost the master. Awesome. And then here at the end of the chain, let's just add one more EQ to cut any side information that could be on this up, like that. So let's cut it. And then here on the mids, let's just add a bit more highs. Awesome. And then let's add some erosion and let's add more noise to this. Now we can revisit this chain at any point of the sequence and just change something. In this case, I just want to add a bit more gain. And maybe we can change this phaser. As you can see, maybe we can go back into Serum FX and change the feedback on the flanger. That's nice. <clears throat> That's nice. Maybe we want to change the modulation on the cutoff of the bandpass. Oops. Maybe we would like to change the modulation on the cutoff of the bandpass. Maybe add some reverb into the bass. I mean, not the bass, but the top layer. Make it shorter. That sounds really cool. Let me go back into the other modulation. Maybe we can go back into Serum and change the waveforms here. <coughs> change the filter. Or maybe change the distortion mode. We have many ways of shaping this sound. And that's why I wanted to make it based on synthesis. Because it allows you to learn every single technique that creates this sound and also have full control of them. So if we were to place this new one on top of the drums. That sounds amazing. But of course, nothing beats the original, right? So that is going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Don't forget that if you want to get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists and we also have a lot of production resources like presets and sample packs on our website. You just got to visit dmbacademy.com. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.